guys, this is about to be an insane transformation. One thing at a time, Marsh. You can't overwork me. <laughs> Welcome back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Crandall. This is Maverick. What's your name? Maverick. Maverick. We're, we're rocking it. We're styling uh, shorts and t-shirts. Well, he's in a tank top and boots. But we have got a major, major problem that we're going to show you guys today. We're also going to be doing a house project. So stay tuned. We're going to show you guys that. We're going to get into that pretty quickly. But before we do that, we got to go check on the animals. And uh, we went out there early this morning. And let's just go show you guys the big problem that we're dealing with. And we also have a little solution. You guys go down and leave a comment. Um, if you guys think our solution is going to be good enough or help with the problem, but let's go look and, uh, oh yeah, some sticks. We've had those storms rolling through and, uh, they've knocked down some tree branches. So we're kind of stacking up a little bit of a burn pile over here, getting stuff ready. Hey goose. Um, I guess we'll start here with Emerald. Emerald, she is sitting, I think, on 15 or 16 eggs. She's still laying eggs even though she's sitting on them. I don't know how much longer she'll be doing that for. Probably not much longer, so we're probably right about 15 or 16 uh, duck eggs. So we're excited about that. I'll tell you what, I need to come in here and lop off all these branches. Eventually, we're going to cut these all these trees down because we're going to do a new shop and stuff here, as you guys probably already know. Um, but these are hanging down with the seed pods. And they're really annoying because they're like at head level, so they whack you. Domino! Hey, Domino! Oh, yep, good to see you. Where's Zan? <laughs> Maverick, your duckies. You want to go pet your duckies? What's this one doing? He's all by and lonesome. He's the black sheep of the family. All the other ones are lighter colored. Okay, come pet your duckies. Maverick's been... Uh, He's been petting them. You want to pet him or no? No. No? What about daddy pet him? Yeah. It's okay. Oh, yeah. They're getting big. They're getting so big. I don't know. Where, where'd he go? One, two, three, four, five. He must. Oh, he ran back over to the coop over there. Goose, what do you think, son? Huh? Should we, uh, should we check and see if there's any eggs in the chicken coop? No. No. More snakes in there. More snakes in there? Yeah. So I don't know if we've been keeping y'all up to date on the snake situation. We have had four snakes. I think two or three in the chicken coop and two, I think, in, actually, I think three in the quail cage. So, yep, the snakes are bad. We have gone through and mowed a ton of our area. We actually had our neighbor come over and help us with brush hogging. I'll play that clip now. Look at this, y'all. Oh my gosh, it hasn't looked this good since last year. Our neighbor came and absolutely saved the day. You can see the push mower over there. I was push mowing it, and they saw me out there push mowing it, and they said, I can come do that in about 10 minutes. Let me go grab the brush hog and come back and brush hog it for you. So they came out and brush hogged it for me. I am so, so grateful, seriously they went above and beyond in doing this for us we're so so grateful so a huge shout out to them and a huge thank you to them we still have uh you know obviously there's a lot of scrap metal and stuff around here so he wasn't able to do around that so i might just have to get the weed eater and weed eat it but oh my gosh it feels so much better and it looks so much better to have all of this completely mowed down taken care of there's going to be less bugs less snakes all of that kind of stuff. So we are extremely, extremely excited about that. So Goose was giving us a lot of weird signs and stuff going on here. I didn't know what the heck was going on. And there's a massive turtle in our front yard. Woo, watch out, buddy. That is a big stinking turtle, y'all. Massive stinking turtle. No wonder, you see it? What is that? Turtle. Big turtle. Oh my gosh. Big stinking turtle. Oh, he's peeing. Leave it, Goose. <laughs> well, I guess we'll go stick him across the fence. 
Actually, you know what? We'll just leave him there. He'll find his own way to his new house wherever he wants it to be. Just leave it. Look at that big stinking turtle. That big stinking turtle? Oh my gosh. Goose back. You're going to get your nose bit. So huge, huge thanks to him. I mean, guys, it was, oh my gosh, you guys know, it was literally four to five feet tall and he came through and brush hogged the entire thing. So I've been keeping up with it with the mower, keeping everything cut down, keeping it short so that we don't have snakes. Thankfully, the snakes that we have had, none of them have been poisonous, uh, but you know, technically it's only a matter of time before a poisonous one showed up. Oh, Zan, you have completely destroyed this chicken coop and, uh, we need to do something about that. We need to do something about that. Come here, Zan. Come here. Hi. The people want to say hi. Hi. You're looking good, but really? I mean, you've completely destroyed the door there. So we might need to come up with a solution for him. I think what we're going to do is end up tying a beam to his horns right here so that he can't reach in like... You guys know what I'm saying. Put a beam across here so that when he goes to try and get in stuff, it, he do, he can't get in. It only needs to be like a foot long, and then he'd be fine. But, oh, yeah, good to see you, Zan. Everybody's been missing you. Yeah, yeah, we need to get you a girlfriend. If anybody has a goat they're looking to get rid of, y'all let us know. We've got the fencing situation finally figured out, so I feel comfortable getting another goat. We just need to find one, so... Leave a comment if you guys got one or somebody, you know somebody that's got one, we might be able to, you know, get him a girlfriend here shortly. Okay, let's go over here. Let's see snake. Yeah, let's go see the snake. Let's go. So I keep updating and fixing this quail pen, but I guess the snakes are still just smarter than me. And actually they can just get into really small holes. So... Yep, there is another snake and it's got two quail inside of it. That's a pretty small one. All the other ones we've caught have been probably about twice that size. So we're gonna need to dispose of him. But that brings us to the new animal that we will be getting on the farm, which is a We're gonna be getting help with snakes and they root through the grass and you know, where the goats and the chickens, they just kind of lightly go through the grass. They will actually go through the grass and if they find snakes, they'll kill them. So we are going to be getting a So we're excited about that. Y'all stay tuned. That's coming up here. Probably by the end of the week, we're going to get him. Um, and we are super excited about it. So hopefully it will help with the snake situation. If not, at least we'll have to be able to kind of mow down the pastures and keep the pastures mowed down. We like to be able to use the pasture that we have. So rather than just mowing it because we need a get rid of it. I'd much rather have animals to be able to graze it and to run it down and to like regeneratively uh, restore the pasture. So that's kind of the idea with that. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to dispose of the snake. That's goosey. They keep coming back and uh, so we have been actually disposing of them. So I know it's bad to say, you know, they're technically good snakes, but they're eating all of our livestock. I mean, we've lost probably 20 or 30 quail to them and uh, thankfully, actually, we've lost one chicken to the uh to the snakes and i think it wasn't actually a poisonous snake so that was a couple of months ago i went out to the pen and the chicken was just dead and i'm pretty sure it was the snake that got it so i'm going to dispose of this let's go show you guys what we're doing on the inside of the house i think y'all are going to be excited if you guys like house projects stay tuned because this is going to be the video for you mars guess what i decided to work on today my bookshelf what bookshelf the little book no that got burned in the fire i don't know where that is it's in Maverick's closet. Nice oh. try, though. Mom, Maverick, what are we going to work on today? The house. The house. The house. I'm going <gasps> to texture your ceiling in the kitchen. Oh, I was like, what ceiling? Okay. Hi, boys. Um, when? Right now. Oh. Well, we better make you lunch so Daddy can texture the ceiling. Sound good? You excited? Yeah, I feel like it'll look so different. It's going to look so different. Is there any, so anywhere else you need to texture? No. So yeah, this the, the, that wall. Yeah, that's that section of wall. Yeah. So this is what our ceiling is going to look like. This is what it looks like now. 
So I'm gonna texture this. Now we're not planning on really painting any of this wall or this wall because that's gonna get full cabinets across the top and the bottom and then it will have backsplash. Same here, it's all gonna have backsplash. So the walls are still gonna look like this for the duration of time until we actually finish the kitchen, but we can finish the ceiling, texturing and painting the ceiling and this wall, finish this off all the way to here. What? Yep, we can paint that wall. Do you have to retexture the laundry? Yeah, I can touch up the te texture in the laundry room too. Oh. If we have enough. Well, I don't know how much mud I have. I'm in the middle of the laundry and all of the laundry's folded, so I should go put it away. So, are you excited? I am. Is it gonna look good? Yeah. Uh, you don't want to touch the pantry? Well, the pantry needs to be all, all the way taken out before we can really do it. Let's not do that. Yeah. One thing at a time, Mars. You can't overwork me. But I like to. <laughs> so I'm gonna get after it. I've gotta come through, sand a little bit, sand a little bit of the joint. I'll do the first layer of texture on the walls and then come back and do it again. Yes, it's gonna be messy. But it's so... It's not clean. The floor is nasty right now. I know, I gotta... Well, yeah, do it before I sweep them up. Good idea. Come out, Rick. Say thanks, Daddy. Thanks, Daddy. I love you. Yeah. Bye. I need dinner. You eat dinner? No. Oh, he's been saying that all morning. Ever since he woke up, the very first thing he said this morning is, I eat dinner. Do you want, Random. Do you want mashed potatoes? No. Do you want beans? No. All right. Well, I guess before we get into that, I'll show you guys the boys. Oh, gosh. Mm. They're rolling over, y'all. They are rolling over, and uh, we have a milestone with Paxton, but that's gonna be in the next video. Come here, kid. Oh, yeah. Here, I promise you want your bottle. Here you go. There you go. Yeah. But they're both doing so good. Everybody's back healthy again. We're finally, we finally have beat this uh, sickness. Don't stand on him, buddy. Goose, get back. What are you doing? <laughs> Harvey, 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 Goose, Harvey, Harvey, Harvey. So the first step is you want to come through and knock down any of the really bad spots that you uh, don't want to have showing through the texture. That is not the first step. What's the first step? To move all of your wife's home decor so she doesn't get mad. Yeah, first step. If you have home decor, remove that before uh, so your wife doesn't get mad. I'll move it for you. Gee, thanks, Mars. So I'm gonna go through, scrape all of this down, scrape the walls and sanding, you know, kind of the same deal. And then we'll actually texture. It's quite the process. That's why these things take time. Crindle invested in these really cool rotating spotlights for the inside of our house. So you just rotate them to where you need them. Exactly. Just Smoothing out all the rough spots to make it look better. Makes finishing it a lot easier. Does this hurt your head? Yep. See? And that's why we moved everything. Well, besides all that stuff. <laughs> You're doing good, love. Oh. Whoa. Can you show everybody what you're making? Um, float. A float? A boat. A boat. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, that's a fish? Yeah. Wow. Look at this and put it in a fish. You do so good with play now, huh? You love Play Doh. I love Play Doh. Whoa. Okay, bud, I'm coming. So sometimes you have to make things worse before you make them better. This hole was uh, a mess when we took out the old light to put the new light in, and I knew I was going to have to come back and repair it. So now's that time to come back and repair it. So I'm trying to repair it, but also make the new hole so that the light will fit just perfectly the way we want it, which is a pain in the butt. Just like that, 
one hole perfectly patched so I'll just mud and tape it and then let that dry and then we'll be ready to texture the whole thing. You excited Mars? Yeah. One less hole in the ceiling. Yeah. Maverick's up from his nap. He's just playing in his room and everything that I've done is pretty much dry so I'm gonna go ahead we're just gonna mix up this other mud. We make it a little bit runnier than usual and then we use this called the crow foot I think and mop it up on the ceiling like that. So this gives us that texture that you can see on the rest of our ceiling. I really like it, so that's why we're using it. Um, I've got a stick that we'll stick this on, but we'll get it mixed up and start doing this. <laughs> Guys, this is about to be an insane transformation. This is big. This is gonna like seal off the rest of the room, make it all tie together. This is a big deal. One row. Only took about 10 minutes. Feels pretty quick. Look at this. That is how you texture the ceiling. So I don't know, it's been probably all together. It took about two, uh, probably three, three and a half hours. But it's all done. So like I said, you pound it up there and then you lightly wipe it down to knock it down flat so it's not all pokey. And then uh, you let it dry and then you can go back over it with a wet sponge to kind of sand it. And that's as simple as it is. I am just blown away though with how good it looks. I can't wait to put the vent covers and stuff back on and paint it. That unfortunately is not gonna be in this video. Y'all will have to stay tuned for that. Marcy's on the phone right now. As soon as she gets done though, we'll get her reaction. I have got a major, major mess to clean up though. We're gonna wait for the to dry though on the ground as well because when it's dry, it just comes right up. Well, Marsh, what do you think? Your ceiling's all done. It looks good. Oh, well, it looks so much better. I wish we could paint it. I know, soon. Not today. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have you take the kids and go out of town. No, I hate when you make me leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a lot easier that way. No, you did such a good job. It looks so good. It so only different. took a couple hours. No, I think you were only putting it, like, doing the thing for, like, 45 minutes. It was, like, an hour and a little bit, but, yeah. So. Well, are you done for today, or what are you I think so. I was just telling everybody, we got to kind of let the floor dry all the clumps within reason, and then they'll just kind of scrape off pretty easily. He says that, but he also said that the paint would come out of the sink and he left it there for three months until I went and cleaned it on Saturday. Wow, good job, Mars. Maybe don't wait three months to clean up the floor. <laughs> you won't be, you'll be doing it tonight. <laughs> well, she was right. I did all the cleanup. The floor, I've swept it. I haven't mopped it yet, but the countertops are all clean. I got the stove clean. I got the lights and the uh, vents put back up. They look fabulous. So yeah, <laughs> some progress. And I didn't wait three months to clean it up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll get the rest of the floor cleaned up here. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Get it looking like it should be brand new. You may have asked yourself, why don't you just lay down some plastic or a tarp or something? Yeah, I didn't really think about it, but I've spent the last like two hours trying to clean this up off the floor. It's been a disaster. So, it is what it is. I've gotten, uh, I've made some progress. I just went through and scraped it all. Now I've got to try mopping it to get it the rest of the way off. Probably take two or three times mopping, but you know, I've done this for quite some time. I don't know why I still uh, didn't decide to put any drop cloth down. A few moments later. There we go. So I know a bunch of y'all are gonna ask if I got the shelves put up in the bathroom. I haven't yet, but that's only because I haven't made the two hour round trip to Lowe's yet to uh, go and pick those up. And it was, well, it was Sunday yesterday. And it was Sunday yesterday. It's Monday. Y'all are watching this on Tuesday. So tomorrow, Tuesday, I am going up there. Today. Today. Okay, that's confusing. <laughs> Today I'm going up there and I am going to go pick up the grout and grout it and then we'll uh, do the shell. So y'all will see that, uh, at least just a snippet of what it looks like in the next video. But it's done. It's done. Well, the ceiling's done ish. Kind of. For now. Yeah. Excuses. It looks, it's another half project. But it looks, well, you can't really. I can't do anything else. Tank and texturing is its own project. So, yeah. really, you finished that 
part of the project. Yeah. But it looks I don't know if you guys can tell. It does look pretty good. It well, I just like that it doesn't look like something's gonna fall on. Well, us. there's no random holes in the yes. ceiling. Yes, like, like it looks, it feels cleaner. Yeah, still construction state, but it does look cleaner. So we're gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do for painting this. I'm gonna have to tape it off like I did before on that half. Tape off this half. Tape off the floor. All that kind of stuff. Spray the primer. Spray the paint. And do all that, but we should have thought about that. And done it when? <laughs> when we ripped out the kitchen. Something like that. Now the day we ripped out the kitchen, we did a ton of stuff. We did your pantry, we did that pantry, we did the closet, all of that stuff. Yeah. I was very busy. So Yeah, and painting the whole other piece. Yeah. But guys, it looks so good and he cleaned up. Like, kind of cleaned up everything. I, I came into the up. kitchen and it was like pretty much clean. So, that's a first. Yeah, like he got all of it off the ground. So, just in case you were wondering, he did get it off the ground. Yes. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Like I said, we have a new animal coming this week. We have uh, the shower stuff. We have some more house projects and some outside projects. So, buckle up. That's going to be a good one. We'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.